how to fix aromaticity and anti aromaticity what is aromaticity so let us consider few of the structures and among these the third structure is a well known structure what we can call it is a benzene now this benzene is aromatic in nature benzene is having the three pi bonds and it is aromatic and it is highly stable compound and if we see the second one it is a not aromatic because it's not having the double bonds which are in a conjugated way so it is a not an aromatic compound but in case of first compound we can observe the double bonds are conjugated but interestingly this compound is very less stable so because of the less stability this compound is called as anti aromatic compound so in a simple way if a compound is highly stable it is an aromatic and if it is very less stable it is an anti aromatic and uh, what are the compounds which are not meeting the criteria for the aromaticity they are simply called as non aromatic so in this video let us see how we can identify a compound whether it is aromatic or anti aromatic or non aromatic let us see the criteria for aromaticity we have different criteria like first of all that compound should be cyclic and the compound should have a conjugated pi bonds and third one the compound should be planar that means it should be a flat molecule and finally it should have odd number of pi bonds so these are the four criteria that should be met with any compound in order to be aromatic so let us start with the first criteria the compound should be cyclic let us take few examples so this is the one structure and this is another structure and we can easily observe that the first one is the 135 hexatriene and second one is the benzene 135 hexatriene is an acyclic structure that is not a cyclic structure because having a open chain therefore it is not aromatic in nature on the other hand benzene is a cyclic structure so it is a aromatic compound so the first criteria for an aromatic compound is it should be cyclic in nature let us see the second criteria it should be conjugated so suppose consider the two structures here in the first structure we can observe a carbon which is not conjugated so conjugation is the alternative arrangement of the double bond and single bond and here you can observe that this carbon is not attached with any double bond so it is not conjugated since it is not having the conjugation so this compound is not aromatic but if you see the second case we can observe the different types of double bonds so 1 2 3 4 and 5 all these five double bonds are arranged alternatively with a single bond so now all five double bonds are conjugated in this structure so this structure is aromatic in nature so this is a simple naphthalene structure which is again aromatic now let us take uh, two more examples so this is a cycloheptatriene this is a cycloheptatrienyl cation now in the first one again we can observe this carbon is not conjugated that means uh, cycloheptatriene is not aromatic in nature but what about the case of uh, cycloheptatrienyl cation now this cycloheptatrienyl cation is conjugated and it is aromatic in nature here even this carbon is not attached with the double bond but still we are saying that it is conjugated so now let us see actually what we mean by conjugation so what is conjugation so when a compound is having an uninterrupted pi cloud and pi electrons can be delocalized by resonance then we can call it is having conjugation so for example in the cycloheptatrienyl cation we can observe that this positive charge can be delocalized by the resonance the double bond can be shifted to this cation and it can be resonated to another structure again this structure can be resonated to another structure by transfer of this double bond and uh, this positive charge can be again delocalized to produce the further resonating structures in this way we can draw the seven resonating structures for this cycloheptatrienyl cation and interestingly all these seven resonating structures are equivalent in nature therefore all these increase the stability of the cycloheptatrienyl cation 
in this way cycloheptatrienyl cation is highly stable and aromatic in nature what we mean by conjugation is that the delocalization of the electrons around the cyclic structure so it may be an alternative arrangement of the double bond and single bond otherwise it may be associated with either cation or anion which can undergo delocalization by the resonance third criteria the compound should be planar that means it should be a flat molecule so again let us take the cycloheptatriene and cycloheptatrienyl cation now the cycloheptatriene is not conjugated already we have seen and here we can observe that all the carbons attached with the double bond are sp2 hybridized so all these are sp2 hybridized thereby they are trigonal in shape but one of the carbon here is sp3 hybridized so it is tetrahedral in shape so because of this sp3 hybridized carbon now the molecule is not a flat molecule so it is not aromatic in nature so cycloheptatriene is having no conjugation as well as not a flat molecule so it is not aromatic on the other hand cycloheptatrienyl cation here this carbocation is sp2 hybridized because of this all the carbons in the cycloheptatrienyl cation are sp2 hybridized thereby it is a flat molecule and because it's having the conjugation and flat molecule it is a aromatic in nature fourth criteria the compound should have odd number of pi bonds so the compound should have either 2n plus 1 pi bonds or 4n plus 2 pi electrons because each pi bond is having the two electrons we can also represent as 4n plus 2 pi electrons so this is commonly known as huckel's rule actually huckel's rule gives the all the criteria and huckel's rule is well known by the the last criteria it is having 4n plus 2 pi electrons now suppose if we substitute n is equal to 1 2 3 and so on we can get what are the number of uh, pi electrons that are allowed for aromatic cd like 2 6 10 14 and 18 and we can get the two value by substituting n is equal to 0 which is actually not observed in the nature so we can observe the different types of aromatic compounds having the pi electrons with 6 10 14 18 and so on now let us consider two examples here let us see how many pi bonds are there in the first one so 1 2 3 4 now it is having four pi bonds thereby it is having eight pi electrons and since it is not matching to the 4n plus 2 pi rule so it is not having the odd number of pi bonds or 4n plus 2 pi electrons so it is not aromatic in nature on the other hand if we see the second structure we can count the pi bonds so 1 2 3 4 and 5 so totally it is having the five pi bonds that is odd number of pi bonds and thereby it is having the 10 pi electrons hence it is aromatic in nature so now this compound is going to match with the huckel's rule 4n plus 2 pi electrons so it is aromatic in nature what is the role of this lone pair of electrons let us consider this structure and let us count the number of pi bonds 1 2 3 and 4 so it is having the four pi bonds so four pi bond means it is having eight pi electrons actually we should call it as uh, not aromatic but still this compound acts as aromatic compound here the lone pair of electrons are present on the nitrogen and these lone pair of electrons can also participate in the resonance and they also produce a conjugation so the effective number of electrons involved in the resonance is equal to 8 plus 2 that is 10 so now totally 10 electrons are involved in the resonance thereby it again obeys the 4n plus 2 pi rule thereby it is aromatic in nature we can see the different types of examples particularly heterocyclic compounds with heteroatom having lone pair of electrons and in case of the first structure that is a pyrrole it is having the 4n plus 2 electrons that 4 plus 2 that is a 6 electrons and in case of this furon again it is having the 4 plus 2 that is 6 here even it is having the two lone pair of electrons only one lone pair of electron is involved in the resonance and another lone pair of electron is out of this pi cloud so in this way the effect to electrons participated in the pi cloud is again 6 which is again matching with the 4n plus 2 pi rule and similarly in the last structure pyridine so here only the pi bonds contribute to the six electrons 
and lone pair of electron is not involved in the resonance so total number of electrons involved in the resonance is 6 so now all these heterocyclic ring systems are having the 6 electrons participating in the resonance thereby all these are aromatic in nature so in this way lone pair of electrons can also contribute to the conjugation thereby they can render few of the molecules aromatic in nature now let us see the anti aromaticity let us consider this structure this is a cyclopentadienyl cation the compound is cyclic and it is conjugated we can see that two double bonds along with one cation all these are conjugated and uh, this carbocation is sp2 hybridized and because this is sp2 hybridized the molecule is a flat molecule we can observe that this uh, structure is going to meet most of the criteria cyclic compound conjugated and flat molecule but what is the total number of pi electrons is only four pi electrons so even it uh, meets the the first three criteria but it is not having the 4n plus 2 pi electrons instead it is having the four pi electrons so now this compound is having the 4n electrons thereby this compound is very less stable and so it is compound is called as anti aromatic compound so a compound is called as anti aromatic if it is cyclic conjugated and flat molecule but it is having 4n electrons then it is called anti aromatic